reported earlier, jobless claims were up today. In fact, roughly one-third of the unemployed have now been out of work for more than six months, about 3.6 million people without regular work since the start of the pandemic. For older workers in particular, this kind of long-term unemployment can be the end of the road. Economics correspondent Paul Salmon looks at their problem as part of his series, Unfinished Business. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rekha Double, um, Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere shalom to the icon that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. You know, first and foremost, I want to say to Wada Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, for giving me the fellow Akim. You know, start from our apostles on down the opportunity, you know, to do these lessons, these videos, you know, the opportunity to go out there on the highways to warn and edify the nations of Israel, which are the so-called Negroes, the Latinos and Native Americans. All right. The 12 tribes of Israel. All right. The ones the law, statutes and commandments were given to. All right. And the promises. All right. The water shall warm. OK, so as you've seen here at the beginning of this video, this is an eight minute video. So that's why I don't only let it play. Well, a couple of seconds because that was the main point, you know, what brought this on. You know, um, unemployment. This this video was made like two weeks ago, but it's still, you know, just as recent. All right. Because, you know, ain't, ain't shit changed in two weeks. <laughs> but, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, this is what we warn you people about. You so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans. In fact, we're warning the world, to be honest, even the heathens, because they know they know. And we're giving everybody warning that this stuff is coming. But mainly, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, that's what we're warning. Right? We're warning you to come out of your wicked way. You're the only nation that we're warning you to come out of your wicked way. Other than that, everybody everybody hears the warning. But we're warning you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans to come, come out of your wicked way, man. Because evictions, they just said, you know, um, it's about 7 million Households, you know, at risk for for being for being evicted. That's a lot of people, man. That's a lot of people. You know, you people, you 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 you, Jakes out there, you Israelites out there, man. You think that you think that this is a game, man. You know, we sit out there, we do these we do these lessons, these videos, to warn and edify you. There's so many videos out there, man. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. We're at a, we're pretty much at a time now when nobody could say, "Hey, I didn't hear, I didn't even hear the Israelites." Everybody uh, I'm running to heard of the Israelites. I could literally, I could literally walk up the street right now and ask a random person, "Hey, you heard of the Israelites?" Well, yeah, I heard of the Israelites, no doubt. I heard of them. We everywhere, man. We everywhere, and. The more and more this word starts getting pushed out there, the more and more the, the demonization is going to start because they just they just had a guy come, uh, running running around with a with a with a machete, and who was probably set up, you know, running around with a machete, you know, saying that uh, he, is, is they're they're affiliated with the black the quote unquote black Hebrew Israelites, you know, they about to start demonizing demonizing us, man. But more importantly, they're going to start rolling up on all you jakes out there, man. They already want to vax all of y'all, man. Right. So these evictions and these these uh, this unemployment stuff. This is what we've been warning you so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans about. And this is why the scripture says what? Do not pray for these people. OK, so um, enough of the talking. Let me get a scripture. OK, this is and I, you know, I've been sticking around the same few scriptures, you know, for the last few the last few videos, actually, you know, because these scriptures never get old, man. They never do. You know, if I got to stay in the same, I'm not, I'm not a scripture. I'm not a scripture man, you know, so I don't I don't remember a bunch of scriptures, you know. But, you know, I, you know, I, I just like d dealing with, you know, with where, where, I, where I'm at, you know. This is um Isaiah 65 and one. It says, I am sought of them that ask not for me. I am found of them that sought that sought me not. I said, behold me, behold me unto a nation that was not called by my name. Right. So that's the Lord saying, behold me, behold me, because 
Yeah, you people, you blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you want to behold Esau Edom, man. You want to, you want to behold, um, or should I say, E? You know, you want to behold uh, 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 BLM and he, and these black women, man. That's what you want to behold, but you don't want to behold uh, 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 the Lord, man. It said what? I am sought of them that, that ask not for me. Y'all don't ask for the Lord. Y'all don't ask for Lord how by Shimmy Shah, man. Where y'all run to? The system. The police station, man. Instead of running to the most high for help. Right? I am found of them that sought me not. Right? I said, behold me, behold me unto a nation that was not called by my name. I spread out my hands. All the day unto a rebellious people, right? The Lord is spreading out his hands to a rebellious ass people, man. You got to think about when before we came into this truth, how rebellious we were, you know? But the Lord made us rebellious. But now it's time, it's time for you blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans to come back to your true heritage, right? So the Lord said what? I spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious ass people. Right, which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. You know, your own thoughts in that in that day. You know, we tell you, hey, look, man. Your guns, your money, and everything else you got, your food, is not going to save you in that day, man. In in the day of the Lord's wrath, the day of Jacob's trouble. Your guns, your money, all that shit ain't going to save you, man. Your weed, you know, and your weaves, your jobs, all that bullshit is not going to save you, man. And we keep telling you this over and over and over again, man. That you, you do this through the spirit and power of the Lord, how about Shimei Shah? That shit ain't going to save you, man, because what is it? Like I just now said, it's all shit. It's all shit. And you're walking in a way that's not good. You're walking in the way of Thanksgiving. You're walking in the way of Christmas. New Year's and all these other bullshit ass holidays you celebrate. You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans like celebrate. All this stuff you like celebrating is a, is a, is a thing that is not good. It is not good. Not good at all. And it's time. It's time for you blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans to wake the hell up. This is what we're warning you, man. And this is what the Lord told us to do. Is to warn you. Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. So cold. You're walking after your own thoughts, man. Okay. This is verse 3. Isaiah 65 verse 3. A people that provoketh me to anger continually to my face. You're literally doing this to, to the Lord's face, man. You're provoking him to anger. And when the Lord gets angry, what, what happens when the Lord gets angry? Well, you get ready to see, man. You're seeing it already. Every time we go over the camp, you know, it's always food spots. You got to wear a mask every time you go to, go to the store. Who did that? The Lord did that. Black Friday. Black Friday was empty as shit. Everybody's doing. Everybody's going to uh, 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 online shopping. You know, who did that? The Lord, because the Lord is angry with this place, man. Okay. It said their sacrifices in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of brick. You're burning incense. When you burn incense, you know, you're worshiping, you're burning the incense of other gods, man. You know, verse four, it said, which remain among the graves and lodge in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh. And there's literally, right? Because you literally like eating swine's flesh, you know, you're, you know, you're eating off the other gods, man. And these other, these other so-called deities you like worshiping man like this christmas this thanksgiving the halloween all that all that stuff new year's and all that those are other deities that you like that you like worshiping man 
that you Jake's worship. Right? But then you eat swine's flesh. You literally eat swine's flesh. That's another that's another deity you worship, man. You eating a pig. That's that's not in our our heritage to eat the pig. Nigga, I gotta eat. No, that's not what we said before. That's not what we said before. If they're if they're before, man, and we're and we're coming back to our to our ancient uh, uh spirit, man. You know, before if there was nothing to eat, gotta think about it. You know, why didn't why didn't the Lord give give people why did the Lord give people fish and stuff like that? And not the pig. I mean, there was plenty of pig. You know? There was plenty of pig. But but Yahweh Shah had said, nah. Because that's not our heritage. But before, if we were to starve and it was there was nothing but pig all around, we we would just starve to death then. We would never betray our power, man. Right? We weren't in that spirit of, nigga, I gotta eat. Some of you were. But those were the ones that got destroyed. Yeah, I remember, it was reincarnation. So, yeah, some of you were. I gotta eat, nigga. You know? It said, and broth of abominable things it, uh, is in their uh, 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 is in their vessels, alright? Which say, stand by thyself, come not near to me. For I am holier than thou. These are these are smoke in my nose, right? A fire that burneth all the day. Behold, it is written before me. I will not keep silence. You hear that? That's the Lord's anger, man. I will not keep silence. But will recompense. Even recompense into their bosom. So when the Lord gets angry, man, you start seeing things like abortions. You know, you start seeing things that's happening all around the world. You know, Jake killing each other. That's the Lord's anger, man. That's the Lord's anger. And you start having famine. Start having a lot of death. A World War Three pop, popping off. That's that's what the Lord. That's what the that's what it looks like when the Lord is angry. Ultimately, the fire. The fire. That the Lord is getting ready to bring to this place. That's the Lord's anger. When you look at that fire, you're looking at pure anger. Okay? Let me look, let me go on down. Verse 7. Your iniquities and you and the iniquities of your fathers together, saith the Lord, right? Which have burned incense upon the mountains and blasphemed me upon the hills. Therefore, what was get ready to happen? Therefore will I measure their former work into their bosom. Right. Verse eight. Thus saith the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster and one saith destroy it not. Right. For a blessing is in it. So it said new wine in the cluster. Right. Let's say you got a bunch of bottles of wine and they're all old. You got new wine and they said, hold on, don't get rid of that. You about to throw all the, all the old wine out. And it's like, hold on, don't get rid of that. There's a blessing in that one. That one's good. That one's fresh. That one's pure. And who was that representing? Well, let's get ready to say it says, so will I do for my servants sake that I may not uh, destroy them all, destroy them all. That's the that's the elect. And that's what we're that's what we're, uh, you know, out there doing, you know, go on the highways and the hedges and bid, bid into the marriage. We don't know who the elect is. And that's why it's our job to, to, uh, to preach into all Israel. That's, is that not what the prophets of old had to do? Because they didn't know who, who was going to be chosen. They didn't know. Only the Most High knows. Right? And it's, it's, it's a sprinkle sprinkle of the elect. In, in, uh, in, the, in the whole cluster of the two, of the two thirds. Verse 9. It says, I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob. And out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains, and mine elect, mine elect, shall inherit it, and my servant shall dwell there, and Sharon shall be a fold of flocks, and the valley of Achor a place for the herds to lie down, 
to like it for for the herds to lie down in. For my people that have sought me, those are for the people that sought him. Those are the ones that 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 called on the name of Lord Yahweh Bashmiel Shai. And and sought him and asked for him. It didn't run to the other gods for help. Yeah, I remember, man. The Lord said, "There is no power with me." The Lord is the is the one and only true living power, man. There is only one Lord. There is only one God. That's it. That's it. Verse eleven. But ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain. This is talk to you two thirds out there, man. Right. Because it said they, you are they, you are they that for, that forsaken the Lord and forgot His holy mountain. All right, that prepare a table for that for that troop, and that furnish the drink. Right, so like that furnish the drink offering unto their to that number. Therefore, oh boy, no oh boy, here we go. This is a cut right here. Therefore, well, I number you to the sword. And ye shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil uh, before mine eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. I'm going to repeat that scripture, man. That this goes to all you people that's get ready to get unemployed. You know, you, you, you get ready to get laid off or fired. Your little small businesses or whatever, whatever job you thought you had, all that shit get ready to get flushed down the toilet, man. Right, your little bit of money, your little bit of food, your little bit of guns, your little bit of drugs, whatever y'all had, man, it's get ready, to get it's get ready, to get all wiped out, man, because you didn't, you did not, your uh, your house, your evict evictions, vaccinations, all of that, man. The Lord said He gonna number y'all all to the sword, right? When these missiles hit, He gonna number all you people to the sword, man. You so-called black Latinos and Native Americans that didn't want to seek the Lord. I'm going to repeat that. Verse 12, it said, Therefore, will I number you to the sword, and, sh and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. You ain't going to escape the Lord, man. Deuteronomy, uh, I believe it was chapter 32, said, Who going to be who going to be there to save who, who going to be there to save you from the Lord, man? You can't, you can't, nobody can save you from the most high. Because when I called, right? This is when it was what the Lord is saying, man. He said, because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be salakia. I'm going to repeat that. I, I, got a, I got a little messed up, salakia. Therefore, in verse 13, therefore... Uh, say if the Lord, Yahweh by Shimmy Shai, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. I said thirsty there, but ye shall be hungry, right? You could put that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish that. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Now, that, that eating and thirsting, y'all going to be eating, y'all going to be hungering, y'all going to be hungry. For for this knowledge, and y'all gonna be physically hung, hungry, far as food, right? Because this knowledge is the real food, right? And the water. They said this truth is like flowing water, man, right? So y'all gonna be y'all gonna be hungry, y'all gonna be thirsty for this truth, man. And then y'all gonna be real, y'all gonna be hungry, and y'all gonna be thirsty. So always, it's always two, three, four, five fold, man, right? It said, "Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed." We are rejoicing that 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 these uh that this stuff is happening. I mean, you already see it right now. These prophecies is, uh, are coming to pass. Everything that's happening right now, even us doing this work, is fulfilling prophecy, right? It said, "His servants are going to rejoice." Every time we see an article about something that that talks about what I just what I just now shown, like the the unemployment, right? And you people out there mourning and shit, right? Or or the uh, 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 the famine or the eviction, 
or the or the or the cops killing one the cops killing you niggas or you niggas killing each other. You know what we say? We say the wadi how by shimmy out shot, man. We don't always have the wine to drink to it, but hey man, we say the wadi how by shimmy out shot. For that. Because this is only prophecy. And you people out there are wicked, man. And we don't pray for you people, man. We rejoice when, when stuff happens to you, man. We rejoice. We rejoice about that. That's what the Lord told us to do. Rejoice. Because these people are wicked, man. They the ones, they the very ones that hate the Lord. So when the Lord start doing stuff to you, black Latinos and Native Americans, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna sit back and we're gonna rejoice. By the Lord's will that we the Lord's service, man. To hopefully let, man. They ain't going to be sitting back rejoicing. Because y'all didn't listen to the Lord. We did. And Lord willing, I continue. Right? Look at this. Verse 14, it says, Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart. Right? But ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. <laughs> Do I need to go on? That's that's pretty much it. You know, on, on that, you know. <laughs> our job, again, our job is to warn you. Come from your wicked way. Time is running short, man. Obviously, if you can't see it right by now, something really wrong with you. I want to say, uh, call hello, Yahweh. Bahashim Yahawashai, Bahashim Rakah Hakwadash. Lord willing, this was edifying. Again, that's called Hello Yahweh Bahashim Yahawashai, Bahashim Rakah Hakwadash. Shalom.